ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் the ill effects of the planets actually uh, they 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 say right so from the planet this planet is it's situated in the south of your birth kundli or the horoscope it will mm-hmm. cause this uh, you have to do this parihara they will say as per the jyotishya which is said to be the vedangam right so mm-hmm. sometimes what happens is the astrologers say some devantras actually for Devata. particularly for some uh, ஜோதிஷ்ரலி applied properly it has uh, very good merits certainly but for prapannas for those who are taken who have taken samashrayanam pancha samskaram and surrendered to bhagavan through an acharya one should not engage in any pariharam or uh, any other activities which involves other devatas or other uh, means even towards permal if someone says that let's say you know one has a particular um, problem with house there is some legal issues or some um, ownership issues then someone will say you go to this particular temple uh, where perma it's a permal temple divideshan temple only if you go there all your house related problems will be solved if you go and worship the permal there you lamp you light a lamp there and so on even that is not allowed for prapannas because we cannot go to permal and ask anything other than kaikaryam we can only ask kaikaryam eternal kaikaryam to bhagavan and kaikaryam in this world continuously without any break that is all we can pray for for that permal will naturally give whatever uh, health wealth and so on for us so that we can do kaikaryam here so whatever is necessary he knows what to give and he will give but if we go and ask him anything else then that will upset him very much he is coming to me who is so beautiful who is the most uh, wonderful treasure in the entire um, universe and he is coming and asking me something from this world in this material world something materialistic so he will become upset why is he not asking me why is he asking something else so similarly if we go go to him uh, for any um, solving any of our problems i mean he will accept yes he says in bhagavad gita that chaturveda bhajante mam jana sukriti no arjuna four types of noble people come to me um the artha those who are in saro artharthi those who are uh, seeking new wealth and then jignasu and jnani jignasu is one who is seeking the self jnani is one who is seeking bhagavan one is seeking service to eternal service to bhagavan <coughs> so he will give whatever we ask he he will he will probably give to as much as possible as much as our karma allows also it is not that we go and ask him and then suddenly we will have uh, lots of uh, wealth accumulated immediately he will give whatever is uh, according to our karma whatever you should get uh, he may speed up the process whatever is he has got free will and he will um, use that free will to uh, give whatever we ask for but being a prapanna being a surrendered person if we go and ask him like that then that will not be pleasing for him it will only cause upset for him if a ordinary person who is not surrendered he only knows worldly pleasures if he goes to bhagavan and asks then he bhagavan will give him okay he is in this level he is in kindergarten level let's say but having come to sharanagati state 
understanding that Bhagavan is the Lord, we are the servitors for Him, and our existence is purely for His joy. Having understood all of this, if we go and ask for worldly pleasures, uh, removal of our uh, troubles through some parihara, then that will upset him only. He will think, what has he understood? He hasn't understood anything after even uh, learning all this uh, Sampradaya Vishyam. He is still coming and asking me for removal of uh, his troubles and so on. Now, if we say this for going and asking to Perumal about this, what will he think if we go to some Devatantram and ask for and uh, try to do Parihara? He will be totally upset. And today only we were seeing Untrum Devum uh, Pravesham, introduction section, where it is saying, where Nambulai is clearly saying that the whole reason for uh, attachment to in samsara is uh, the primary uh, two reasons. That is Bijam, the seed for our engagement in samsara, presence in samsara is attachment to Devatantrams and not understanding Bhagavan's supremacy clearly. When we lack these two, in, when we lack in these two aspects, then we will continue to exist in this samsara. So going to Devatantra and performing Parihara, that is not at all meant for Sri Vaishnavas. When we surrender, Perumal himself is removing majority of our sufferings. Majority of our sufferings he has already removed. What we have is very little to go through. If we cannot even bear this little amount of suffering, Perumal will be kind enough to even eliminate that suffering. But then we will develop attachment towards this samsara. We will think that everything is good here. We are happy here. Why should we go to some Paramapadam? So for that, Perumal is letting us go through a little bit of sufferings. That suffering, we have to gladly accept and go through that suffering. So we will be over with it. Instead, if we try to go to uh, do Parihara, then it will be Sarupa Virodham also. And whether it will succeed or not, that is also no guarantee. There is no guarantee for that also. So, Sri Vaishnavas should not engage in any Parihara, whatever it is. Whether it is Devatantaram or going and asking Perumal for any worldly benefits or worldly removal of worldly troubles, either way, it is not good for Sri Vaishnavas. To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download Koyil K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil.org K O Y I L dot O R G.